ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video in Assassin's Creed the Atia Collection. This is Assassin's Creed 2. Yes, we're playing another Assassin Tomb, the second to final one in the Doge's Palace in Venice. We're here in St. Mark's Square. Uh, okay. So let's head around the back because we're going to get up onto the roof so that we may get into the tomb. Now this is probably, I mean for me personally, in the past when, you know, I was new to playing these tombs, not my 20,000th time like now, uh, this is probably what I'd call the most challenging of the tombs. It's no combat, it's all parkour based challenges and timed parkour based challenges. So they can get frustrating because if you mess up, like you make one mistake, you kind of have to like start the whole run again and there's only four things. So if you do it all in one shot, it's actually one of the fastest tombs to complete. But if you screw like each of them up once, I mean, double your time, double your whole time. It can get really frustrating. I know there were some of these that, you know, you screw up three or four times. You're like, God damn it. You start raging. But I mean, at this stage, I played these so many times. I shouldn't have any issues with these. I can't imagine, I don't remember the last time I would have had issues like this, but I'm sure this time will be fine as per usual now. So, the tomb's down there in the center of the building. And there's four corners. And we've got a challenge at each end of this cathedral, church, I don't know what, what it called, the bigger ones, what do you even fucking call them, I don't know, I don't know, don't ask me things, okay, here we go, let's set the challenges up, and move these circles around, Okay, so it gives you a quick guard. Follow to the left. The cloth will show you the way. Okay, you want to climb around the side. Boop. Jump. Now, the, the thing that annoys me about these, yes, yeah, goddamn, ca stop changing the camera angles on me. I was trying to show you the way, but sometimes if you're running really fast, it, you'll hit the wrong direction because the camera moves as you're running. And, oh, look at that, it should be fine. Where are we? So climb up. And the camera should move. So best thing to do is just right trigger, press A, and you're on there. That's all you gotta do. You don't wanna fuck up the direction you're running by trying to use the analog stick. That'll just screw you up. What's it doing? This really is a beautiful church, though. In, uh, the Doge's Palace. I guess this is the Doge's Palace, but it's, like, connected to it anyway. I never got to go inside this when I went to Venice. Like, it's one of my most disappointing things. I went to Venice for, what, a day or two days? I, f I, can, I forget. And did everything, but because we were staying just off the island and we ferried across for, like, the day trips, uh, you, you know, you're carrying just, like, a backpack around. And my backpack, you know, has, you know, your passport in there, or your flight details. Like, every, I, I carried everything with me. I didn't leave shit in the hotel that I w didn't want to lose. And I had my bag, like, locked and shit. But, to go inside this place, or the Doge's Palace or anything, and see the museums inside here, you have to, like, give them your bag and, and sign it in. But, like, it was the most unorganized sign-in of bags I've ever seen. Where pretty much anyone could just take whatever bag and they wouldn't fucking know. The security guards would have no fucking idea. So I'm like, yeah, 100% not leaving my bag here with you guys. I'm just not going to go in. So that was kind of disappointing. But it's better than someone else taking my bag. I went into some of these museums that had, like, proper sign-in shit. And you kind of just got to be able to tell which ones you feel safe. 
and which ones you don't. So it's, I guess it's just up to your own discretion. Disappointing. I would have liked to go inside. But, you know. I didn't lose anything, so that's a bonus. I played it safe. Two down! Two to go! Jump! I do wonder how accurate this building interior is to the real life interior. IRL interior. So far, hasn't been any issues. I like that a lot. I like that a hell of a lot. So you start up. The most climbable point. And follow. It's not a race. Well, actually, it kind of is a race. I always say patience, but like... Timing and efficiency. But always patient at the same time. Because you really don't want to fuck yourself up. If you're just rushing through, you'll make mistakes. Just take it easy. But don't go slightly because, you know, then everything gets fucked. Again, don't hit the direction, it'll screw you up. Just right trigger and A. Beautiful jump back. Maybe everyone's sitting there like, we know you just hit right trigger and A, that's how I've always done it. I'm like, shit, I didn't. I used to not know that back in the day. I used to just always hit the direction. And sometimes it would go the direction I hit, and sometimes it would just jump off. And I'm like, no, you idiot. Last one. No mistakes have been made. So this is perfect. This... Mm, is this the long... I think this is like the longest one. Oh, great. I left the best for last. Or the worst for last. I'll be fine. I'm the master of Assassin's Creed. Totally. I just made that up. I claim it, though. I totally claim it. Don't need a rush. Oh. We're good, we're good, we're up. No screw ups. Now you need to get across these chandelier things. Like, there's no lights in them. What even are these? Just cross. Are they just like 3D crosses? Four sided crosses? I don't know. I'm just literally talking out of my ass right now. A lot of these don't make sense. It's almost like they're just put in there for me to climb. It's almost like this is a video game and I'm overthinking this. Oh, look at that. Easy. No mistakes whatsoever. OMG. The assassin symbol? I didn't even know. Well, so I said it was the most challenging, but that was pretty... We did that pretty easily. And a lovely secret tomb underneath. I love these. Beautiful. Only one more to go now. Alright. And again, don't forget the coins, ladies and gentlemen. Never forget to loot the chests. I know you're thinking, I've got plenty of money. Who needs the chest? Just do it. Because I said so. Follow my advice. Always listen to Tyler. Alright. Four down. One to go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this one. I will see you for the final tomb. And we'll get Altair's armor.